More than 24 hours without food in order to maximize the benefits of fasting, from autophagy to increased growth hormone secretion and much more, but without missing a day of eating. How is this possible? With a long forgotten secret known as the monk fast. A 36 hour fast where you eat breakfast on one day and then don't eat until dinner the next day. Did I just stumble across something incredible? Let's find out, but you gotta focus. Right before I began my fast, starting nice and early with a hearty breakfast of champions. Eating as much as I wanted, but trying to keep the food as healthy and wholesome as possible. This meal looks insane. Without further ado, I don't like my food getting cold, so... I'm gonna dig into it. Very enticing about the 36 hour fast was it allowed me to eat a very large breakfast on day one, which I was hoping would keep me satisfied. Then if I could just make it through the night, the sprint to the finish the next day would feel similar to a regular intermittent fast. And thus I could reap the benefits of over a 24 hour fast and complete this challenge with ease. Or so I thought. All right guys, it's 7.38 a.m. right now. That means I can't have any more calories until tomorrow at 7.38 p.m. Very satisfied after that large hearty meal, I had to finish up some work on my computer, but afterwards I wanted to allow my body to relax and hopefully sink into the fast. Red light session done, feeling absolutely great. I absolutely love this thing. If you haven't checked out my red light therapy video, check that out. I think you'd probably find that very interesting, especially if you're finding things like fasting interesting. Regardless, it is rounding on 12 o'clock noon right now. Not feeling hungry at all. Other than that, I'm gonna continue to take it easy, try to move slow, try to relax, clear the mind. I actually might go outside and enjoy nature later. Other than that, so far so good. Scientific evidence suggests that going out in nature can help boost serotonin levels. Balanced levels of serotonin can help positively influence learning, memory, as well as a healthy relaxation. And because serotonin is largely synthesized in the intestines from the amino acid tryptophan, which was found in great quantities in the large breakfast I just ate, I thought this would be a great idea to give me a boost in the beginning of this challenge. However, it was zero degrees and windy. I don't know what it looks like, but it's freaking freezing out here. Woo, we good, we good fam. Just got out of the shower. It's rounding 4.30 right now. Probably because of that huge breakfast, I am still not even hungry. However, I am getting kind of nervous, like just kind of like waiting for hunger to creep up. And that's probably not what I should be doing. I should probably be actually just relaxing. So I'm gonna try my best to just relax and allow the fast to happen. That's it for now, I'll let you guys know any updates. Now I was sipping water here and there throughout the day, but not chugging it. Other than that, relaxing, light activity, and trying not to think about food for the rest of the afternoon. I feel like if I can make it through the night, it's gonna be smooth sailing tomorrow. I mean, it's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna be able to like push through because I'm gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know? I hope I'm not like starving and just can't sleep. I hope I can just like go to bed. Going to sleep is actually the most important part of this whole entire thing and why this is such a magical protocol for a fast. Two huge benefits of fasting include increased autophagy and increased growth hormone secretion. Autophagy referring to a process by which a cell breaks down and destroys old, damaged, or abnormal proteins and other substances in the cytoplasm. Amping this up can have many benefits from better cardiovascular function, skin health, reduced inflammation, and longevity. Increased growth hormone secretion referring to more production of natural human human growth hormone, resulting in more energy, better muscle mass, more youthful skin, amongst many other benefits. Now based on the studies, both of these benefits don't really start to amp up until after 16 hours of fasting. Now something that makes this monk fast so special and wise is that around 16 hours of fasting, I will be getting ready to go to bed. So apparently as growth hormone and autophagy begin to increase, I will be going to sleep, and with just sleep in general comes increased autophagy and growth hormone. So by putting this window of sleep at an optimal time with this fast, could I expect a boost of these benefits in the most efficient time window possible? Well, I don't exactly have the lab equipment to test this, but I will let you know how I felt. Good morning, guys. So my sleep last night wasn't any better or worse than normal. Right now, I'm actually a little bit hungry. So I'm going to drink some water 
kind of just ease into the morning and see if I can continue to sink in this fast. Oh, by the way, it is now eight o'clock, so that means we are past the 24 hour mark. No, I can't, I can't break the fast. You know, just a whiff can spike the insulin. So I actually ended up having some coffee diluted with some hot water. Now coffee and or tea is allowed on this fast, but it cannot have added calories and it's important not to drink too much. So I kept it just to one diluted cup, which I found worked perfect because after this, I noticed that that little appetite I was getting was then suppressed. <laughs> I'm not good at that games. When I just literally relax and sit here, I start to feel this like euphoria, almost like an excitement you would get when you like achieve something amazing, say, or uh, I don't know, accomplish a goal. Except for it's like lacking the adrenaline. It's more of just like a very calm euphoria where it's just, I feel good, honestly. So I like it, I don't know. Another thing that happens around the 16 to 24 hour mark during a fast is the body begins to go into a state of ketosis. That is rather than using glucose for energy, it starts to use ketones. Sometimes when new to ketosis, people will experience brain fog, headaches, etc. But me being someone who is used to intermittent fasting, possibly already being used to intermittently going into ketosis, I was finding that being in this state was providing me with this clear focused relaxation with a mild euphoria. Now something important to note is primarily the water I was drinking was filtered through a reverse osmosis system which did remove many of the impurities in the water but also removed essential trace minerals. So I decided to add back into the water these essential trace minerals to prevent any acute mineral deficiencies on this last half of the fast. Not ideally, but at about hour 30, I decided to go to the gym to see how a workout would go. How did it go? I didn't feel as strong as normal, and I didn't have a ton of energy. But I noticed upon taking the pump cover off, I was relatively looking way more ripped and even more dense in the muscles than just the prior day. It seemed like quite the drastic transformation in just a little over 24 hours, at least for myself. It's 2.15 right now, just got done with the gym. We're at the store. Regarding the gym, I feel like I probably should have waited a few more hours because now I'm actually very, I'm very hungry. Other than that, we are headed into the store where I'm gonna get the food for myself to break this fast. Picking up food which I would later break my fast with and then trying to fill in the rest of the day with various activities to keep my mind off the developing hunger. You gonna dig into this right now? You're gonna do this to me right here? I can't miss my anabolic window. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'm over there. <laughs> Todd's over here. Look at how beefcake that thing is. Just like all the uh, the components. <laughs> Acting like I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Holy smokes. Dude, I feel like we, we can just like absolutely destroy anything I wanted to. Like I should just take it up here and drive it around <laughs> this yard. Test driving my father-in-law's new Bronco, which was absolutely awesome. And then playing some cards with family. And before I knew it, 36 hours of fasting was almost up. We are so close. It's 7.30, 7.38. Oh, that's what it's gonna be? Yeah. And right before I broke the fast, I took my weight and some after visuals. Surprisingly, only a little over a pound and a half down, but I felt like I looked a lot more lean than the day before, and I also felt like my waist looked tighter, especially from the side view. I literally do feel like my skin is tighter. Like, I feel like I'm almost back to normal. And by back to normal, I mean before the Florida trip and before go mad. <laughs> okay. 7.48, it's time to break the fast. So to break the fast, I'm, I'm gonna use some bone broth because it's good to break a fast with bone broth apparently. I feel like I can get my waist way tighter. First bit of calories in 36 hours, here we go. Wow. At this point, my sense of smell and taste felt extremely heightened. This broth, which I've had before, tasted three times as strong as it normally did. Now I tried to ease into breaking the fast and not eat too quickly. So before it came to the main course, I also decided to add in an orange. Mm. Oh wow. It felt like the flavor of the simple orange was amplified. Tasting so sweet, hydrating and refreshing, I gobbled the whole thing down quite quickly. I am stimulated now guys, like after having that orange, it's time to eat. And trying my best to ease into the main course, beef, potatoes, rice with some toppings, it tasted so delicious. I finished one entire plate, then I went to get a second plate, and I finished that as well. Now I was actually worried what I would do post fast, 
Like, would I just continue to eat and eat and eat until I was so full I'd feel sick? Well, to my surprise, my stomach actually felt very, very full after only two plates, and I had to cut it off there for the night. What is up home slash? So in my opinion, that was one of the most beneficial experiments I have done to date. All in all, I found this actually a very simple way to approach a 36 hour fast with limited struggle with possibly maximizing the benefits. Now I only lost a little around a pound, but I do feel like visually I look a lot leaner, a lot tighter in the skin. Even the day after, after I broke the fast, I actually feel like I looked the best. Now that does make sense because when I do look at the numbers, I did have that big breakfast on the first day, which was around 3,000 calories. And then when I broke my fast, I calculated that meal to be about 2,000 calories. So because my daily calorie expenditure is around 3,000, that means I was net negative 1,000 calories between the entire fast. So that deficit was probably contributing to that acute weight loss. However, the feeling of just accomplishing something like this, something I've always wanted to do, a 36 hour fast, made me just motivated and it made me not want to put in anything junk into my body afterwards and I felt like it was just like a great kickstart. Also on top of that, I felt like it was just really nice to almost just like take a break from food. Like my body was just able to just rejuvenate. Now that could just be pseudo bro hippie science going on inside of me. But based on the studies, it is a promising thought. I may consider implementing this every once in a while for potential prolonged long-term health benefits as well as just the other benefits I got from it acutely. Now with that being said, if you have never even experimented with any type of intermittent fast before, I might not recommend just jumping into a 36 hour monk fast. So if it was my first time fasting in any manner, I would start with like a typical 16, eight hour fast that is fasting for 16 hours and then maybe over the course of like a week or two, close that window until it gets down to six, maybe four hours for one day. And then when I was comfortable with that, then I would attempt the 36 hour monk fast. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying these experiments. Stay tuned, more videos coming out. Hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.